Greetings and welcome to session 9 of uh, our journey through the first letter of John. And uh, we're up to chapter 2 and verse 18, so let me read these verses for you. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Therefore we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out, that it might become plain that they are all not of us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and you have all knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie is of the truth. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist. He who denies the Father and the Son, no one who denies the Father and that has the Son, and whoever confesses the Son also has the Father. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you too will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he made to us, eternal life. Now, um, when I was a, a teenager, there was a, um, a series of films, um, Hollywood uh, at its worst, um, called The Omen, and there were one or two other movies around at that time, which had a central character who, in the uh, storyline of the movie, was going to be the Antichrist. This was a, an individual who was going to basically uh, come and bring uh, unprecedented evil into the world and was going to take over the world and was going to overturn the church and uh, uh, all of that sort of stuff. And he was the Antichrist. And the issue that we have is that that kind of thinking um, is not biblical, but somehow it's kind of worked its way into the, the life of the church and the way we have dealt with and, uh, and interpreted the scriptures. And so we've had many people telling us that this person is the Antichrist or that person is the Antichrist or when the Antichrist comes, he's going to look like this and he's going to do that. Uh, the only place you find Antichrist in Scripture is in John's letter. And John makes it very clear that actually the Antichrist has already come. And, and he doesn't talk just about one Antichrist, he talks about Antichrists, plural. And he's talking about a group of people who have basically rejected the truth about Jesus. They were people who clearly had been part of the church and clearly had sat under the the teaching and possibly John's uh, teaching and um, they somehow have come to a place where they disagreed where uh, they uh, they left uh, under a cloud because they didn't believe that Jesus was the Christ and so they went off and formed their own cult and did whatever it is they did and uh, John said it's clear that they are not of us that they are not part of us that they don't belong to us that they don't agree with us that they don't subscribe to the truth that Jesus is the Christ and his Lord uh, and because of that they've gone out from us uh, and they're not of us if they if they had believed in those things John says they would have stayed with us so what 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 use is this to us well um, I think there is a challenge here for us to first of all not let Hollywood uh, shape the way we interpret scripture and, and the things that we believe um, but to actually get to the truth of it and to actually deal with what is there rather than what isn't there Secondly, I, I think that what John is wanting us to understand here is that not everybody is for us. Not everybody uh, believes what we believe. There are people who will, will come and maybe they'll come and be part of the church. Maybe they'll be part of our fellowship for a while. Maybe they will stay with us. But at some point, we'll have difficulty accepting that Jesus is the Christ and that he is Lord. And they may go off and they may join something else or start something else. And um, uh, the, the, we need to be aware uh, that these people exist, that they are around us, that certainly in the wider community these people are around us, these people who um, want to undermine the truth of who Jesus is. And uh, John is saying, you know, you know the truth. How do you know the truth? You know the truth because the Holy Spirit has brought a conviction to you that Jesus is Lord. And if you have Jesus, you have the Father. And if you have the Father, you have Jesus. These two things are inextricably linked um, you can't separate them, and if we know the truth, then we know that Jesus is Christ and Jesus is Lord. And those things are absolutely central to uh, Christianity. They're absolutely central and essential to what we believe. And so we must be careful at all times for anybody who 
uh, watch out for anybody who wants to say anything different to that because it's that's not Christianity and that's not acceptable. And sooner or later those people will either change to accept the truth or they will leave and, and go and do something different. So let's be watchful, let's keep our eyes open and um, I hope you have some discussion about that uh, as you go through this um, session today and uh, I'll be back uh, as always to speak to you later. Okay, God bless you. Bye for now.